This yeah. too. This was this variety really good. So welcome back to Asian Garden at Table. It's Wednesday, August 26th. We're doing a little farm update. Showing the property here. Raised beds. You see here from the, the deck around the house, we got a, a really nice view of the pond and the raised beds. Right, it's really uh, really nice to be able to stand up here on the deck and be able to oversee the, the garden property. See what's growing. Hi, honey. <laughs> what you doing, honey? <laughs> Pull the weed out before we till this section. Did I startle you? <laughs> yes, you didn't. You didn't hear me walking out? No, I did not. I That's was thinking things. What were you thinking? <laughs> now I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then grow some. What are you going to pull out? Some weed. Because this kind of weed. This thing. If we till the garden. It's still going to grow back even you chop it up pieces. Right. As far as it has the knot here. Right. It will grow a new plant. So I'm just thinking to pull it out and then grow vegetable in it. If we have vegetable growing in the middle, it will not grow weed like this. So I don't want a garden full with the weed. And I know the rain season, hurricane season, right? I don't want rain every day and then the garden all covered with weeds. grass. Yeah. I'd rather put vegetable here. Even when the vegetable grow crazy, it's fine. It's vegetable. As you can see, the six big raised beds are all out in the field here, and they get all day sun. Uh, so all the vegetables we grow out in there, they, they get lots of sunshine. But these last two raised beds over here. These are on the east end of the property. And right over there, our neighbor's got a nice big oak tree, which shades these two raised beds here on the end. Uh, right now it's about 10.30 in the morning. They're still pretty well shaded. So, and they stay shaded till about noon. That's why Regina was saying that uh, in these two raised beds, we might try a different strategy with the vegetables that we're growing to go for something that doesn't require as much sunlight. And you can see Regina's cleaning out that raised bed in the center, pulling out all the, the vegetables and weeds and clearing the center and then we'll come back and put some more manure in, top dress it, run the tiller over it, and then put some more vegetables in there. Although the, the plants in the middle of the raised bed weren't doing as well, you can see actually the, the vining plants that we've been growing here. For instance, this uh, winter melon is doing quite well. You see the size of that. It's quite big. You need to pick it. Somebody already bought this. Picked. Oh, somebody. What's that, honey? Somebody bought this winter melon. Somebody already bought that winter melon on our new yes. website. Yes, we got our first order. Fresh.AsianGardenToTable.com? Yes. Yeah, we got our first, very first order, so they'll be by to pick that up on Saturday. We're going to leave it on the vine until they're coming to pick it up. Yeah. And you can see here the, the, the bottle gourd on this side of the, the trellis is also doing quite well. All our the plants last growing. video, right, we show how to direct, how right. to direct the vine. Yep, so this is where Regine was directing the vines, and now you can see the the fruits are coming in nicely. Lots of lots of fruits coming up off the plants, all over. Female. Lots plants. lots of flower buds. You can see that there. And I also just prune the old leaves at the bottom. Pruning the old leaves and side vines helps direct all the nutrients of the plant up to where the, the plant is fruiting. Mm -hmm. So that you'll get lots of healthy fruits growing up high on the vines, on the trellis, so they're not down near the ground. You see the leaves are all very green. 
You don't see any powdery mildew. You don't see a lot of insects. Yeah, some caterpillar. You got some caterpillars. I popped them. A little bit of damage. But Regine, as usual, pops the caterpillars. So it is important that as you go around your garden, you look for things that could be damaging your plants and you do something about it right away. That prevents extensive damage or if you see aphids, you won't build up a big aphid colony. And if possible, get yourself some ladybugs because they will also help to control the aphids. And you can see the loofahs over here on this side. Again, still doing very well. Lots of fruits coming in. You see the flower still on this loofah and the vegetables growing behind it. It's a pretty good size already. You see next to my hand here. And that will quickly turn into something like this. And will continue to grow pretty much as, as big as you want it to grow on the vine before you pick it. Here you see here's another one growing. That one is about ready to be picked. You see here where Regine has brought the, the vines over the walkway. Now we have more fruits coming in right here over the walkway and those soon will be hanging down all across the walkway just like these here. And these. And here. And if you keep your plants upright and healthy, they will generate a lot of fruit for you. So here you can see there's a young loofah that has split open. So honey, what's what's going on with that little loofah that split? This one? Yep. I think it was because when it starts to finish flowering, it's time for the fruit to start to grow fast. And it happened to have a lot of rain and very hot weather. So it expands too fast, it just pop. It's pretty normal for the vegetable that grow in summertime when it's very hot and have a lot of rain. It just grow too fast, faster than its skin, right? It ate too much and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that, yeah. It ate too much and then busted its belly. Uh -huh. So I just pick it because it have another fruit here. Yep. So no matter what, it won't grow very well anyway. So this one goes to the trash. Look at this. This yeah. too. Just this variety really good. What variety is that, honey? This is, I think this is Spring King. Spring King? Yeah. Do you know the number? No. Oh. Spring King. <laughs> no, honey, I don't have the I spreadsheet know. in my head. <laughs> and what do you make with a loofah? I like make soup, stir fry. I soup. like the soup. Oh yeah, the soup is good. We just had the soup yesterday. Mm -hmm. You can steam, stir fry, uh, make soup. They are really good. And it's very healthy for summer because this vegetable very cooling, fresh and the flavor is delicious. Very light, but delicious. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't think to have hot soup in summer. No, when I say cooling, it's not cool. It's still warm soup, but the nutrients in there is very good to help your body cool down, make your body adjust to used to the hot weather. So this is really, really popular in the south of China. It's also very popular in our house. The kids love it too. <laughs> yeah, they like the soup. <laughs> so, so what's going on with the, the buds here behind the flower? Which one? Right there. Yeah? Yeah. This is the new flower. Those are new flowers coming up yeah, behind the... Yeah, this is the little flower. They grow from here and here all the way. See this one bloom yesterday, this is a new one. And tomorrow this one will bloom and the, the day after tomorrow bloom so the so this male flower will be blooming all the time every day so make sure when the female flower bloom they will have the male flower ready for so these are the male flowers yeah these are male flower and they okay. bloom a lot and, and, and which one's the female this one this one with a baby fruit right here I this is that. the 
And this one are the fruity. It's got some male flowers hanging out there right behind it. Yeah, but it's this like, one is not for this. It's like the male flowers are stalking the females. <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> Coming blooming, we will have the male flower. Um, I'm sorry, what? Hmm? What'd you say? <laughs> will we have the female flower blooming? We, like the plant, and always have the male flower ready, blooming all the time, every day. But the male flower, the now I'm gonna mix up, mix up. With the female flower. <laughs> Yeah, we always have the male flower bloom first, almost, and have um. We always. <laughs> so, wait, wait, I need too wait, many honey, male and female. Wait, wait so the, so the male flower always comes first. Not always depends. If the male flower coming, they were blooming all the time every day. So when the female flower come. There are always plenty male flower to attract the butterfly, the bees, to pollinate. So to guarantee the female flower will grow into fruit. That's nature. Yeah. <laughs>